I mean, Fiji just crazy about rugby full stop. So the Olympics is on the radar, obviously, but not to the same level that rugby is. So when the two are married now, I guess, over the next nine months, it's just always, it's mentioned every sentence. So Road to Rio, Rio Gold. You know, we've got a song out now, which is, you know, Go Fiji, Go on the Road to Rio. And it's just constant stuff, a barrage, really. And every match and every game, everything is, you know, the, the, the questions I'll get from the press are all about uh, the Olympic Games. It's, it's a hard one to prepare for. Obviously, we have the World Series and you go to the, the blingy places like Vegas and Dubai and uh, Hong Kong. And, you know, I've been, I've been on trips where boys have never been on a plane before, where boys have never been on a lift before. Um, now, that, you know, that's another level when you think about what will happen in the Olympic Games. Career-wise, obviously, it's going to help if I could be the first coach to win a gold medal, but I want those 12 or 13 or whoever make up that squad for the Olympics, I want all of them to, to win a gold medal because I know for them that, that will leave them a legacy on the island. And these guys come from such different backgrounds. You know, Jerry Tuai, who's, they talk a little bit about him, but he is in a settlement. You know, it's, it is the equivalent of our favelas. Um, and it is a tin shack. Uh, and because they won the World Series, it does mean that he's got electricity now, which he didn't have. You know, he can afford a generator. Running water's now there, still, you know, um, improve things a bit for his family. But that's still the backgrounds that the boys are coming through. <laughs>